I'm tired of my calculator giving me correct answers. No matter how fast I work out, the calculator always beats me. It makes me feel inferior and I don't like it. So recently, I found the scientific calculator and wondered if I could make it give me an incorrect answer to boost my crippling ego. Hey, do you think I could make my calculator give me an incorrect answer? I mean, I mean, I guess you can. Actually, maybe not. F By default, this calculator works how you would expect any normal calculator to work. It can carry out operations and comes pre-equipped with all the features you would expect from a standard Casio. My first attempt was to make the calculator give me an error. See, calculators have their limits. They can't divide by zero and can't compute big numbers like 70 factorial. The problem is it's not like I could either. The next attempt was to press random stuff and it turns out I found something weird. If I hit shift and then press any of these buttons, I can change the calculator from base 10 to binary, quinary, octal, and hexadecimal. As an example, in a quinary system, it would only take a value of 5 to get into the next digit, and only a value of 25 to get into the hundreds. Now we can type in some operations and get surface level stupid results, though these aren't really anything special after you understand the maths behind it. Where things really get interesting is after you type a negative number. See, logically negative 1 is still negative 1 even in a quinary system, though the calculator says otherwise. By simply typing a negative number on a non-base 10 system, we have essentially broken the calculator. What? There is no mathematical error in the statement, so that means we just beat the calculator at its own game. Well, kind of. The natural instinct to such a result was to try every other system and see if it suffered from the same fault. Binary gave me repeating 1s, octal gave repeating 7s, and hexadecimal seems like it's trying very hard to say a slur. This issue extends across all non-base 10 systems and all negative numbers, so naturally, I want to find out why. I searched the website for any faults in my model of the Sharp calculators, though it would seem like the calculator brand itself was perfectly fine. After I performed an exorcism to ensure the calculator wasn't possessed, the first thing I tried was to identify a pattern in the repeating digits. I realized that it was always one digit less than the base it was in. I then tried other numbers like negative 2 or negative 3, and it actually behaved how you would expect with the digits going down. I knew there was something more to this, so I did some further research and stumbled across something that could explain why my calculator was acting up. See, normally we associate repeating digits as something exclusive to the right side of the decimal point, though there was no rule saying this had to be the case. We could take something like 0.9 repeating and move every 9 to the left, which creates this abomination. If we add 1 to this value, then it keeps on carrying the 1 without ever actually getting any digit other than 0. This means that the addition of a repeating 9 with 1 is equal to 0, and by taking away the 1, the value of this infinite 9 is actually somehow negative 1. So using this logic, the weird values are explained as the repeating digit is always 1 less than the base, meaning it does technically equal negative 1. So you technically didn't get the calculator to say the wrong thing? Shut up. There's probably some error in the display of these numbers and just caused them to be written in repeating digits. But I had a feeling there was something more mathematically elegant about it. I did what any sane person would do and realized that this was actually a mathematical concept a bazillion years old invented by Leonard Euler. Just kidding, it's not, but it's what we call a piatic number. Piatic numbers are often seen to be an extension of rational numbers unique from the real numbers we are familiar with. They are basically repeating decimals but on the left hand side which can be written as an infinite sum that, against all odds, converges. The P in piatic actually comes from the base being a prime number, meaning that the repeating 9 from earlier isn't actually piatic, it's 10 attic, and the hexadecimal slur was actually 16 attic. Anyway, enough technicality. The point is that these weird sorts of errors are actually not errors. They can be added, multiplied, subtracted, and divided as shown before. So, does this mean that my outdated calculator actually computes infinity? No, no, de definitely not. It's just a display error. If it did, it would be worth way more than $10. Despite my speculation, I'm not definitively sure why this error occurs. All my previous yapping could be entirely wrong and it's probably a computing problem. So if any of you own a model of this calculator or know why this error actually occurs, please consider educating me, I'd love to know. Anyway, I still find it cool that the calculator computes these strange things, even if it isn't meant to happen.
Oh, shut up. All right, to conclude, if AI ever takes over, I'll be fine. Also, this calculator has a 10% chance of being possessed. Subscribe. All right, see ya.